VectorWorks Landmark includes a tool for documenting existing vegetation. The tool, called Existing Tree, is located in the Site Planning Toolset. In this exercise, you'll edit some trees already placed on the plan and place a tree of your own on the plan. The file you'll work in contains extra elements to give you a sense of completeness when working with the site. These objects were drawn with the Landscape Area tool and the Hardscape tool, both found in the Site Planning Toolset. You'll see more about these in future exercises, but feel free to select them and examine their settings on the Object Info palette to get a feel for their functionality. Place an existing tree. Open the file 5 Add Existing Trees. Using the Navigation palette, click the Design Layers button. There are many more layers in this file to allow the easy separation of different phases of the design process. Ensure Existing Trees is the active layer. Click the Classes button and ensure Existing Tree Retain is the active class. Click the Site Planning toolset. Click the Existing Tree tool and then choose the Existing Tree Tool Preferences button on the toolbar. On the Object Properties dialog, define the tree as follows. Click Get Species Data and then choose Quercus Roba from the list. Click OK. Click Tag and Number options and ensure that auto numbering is on. This tree will be numbered sequentially with a prefix of E. Click OK. Origin Native Height 12500 mm Canopy max diameter 6500 mm First branch height 1700 mm DBH or diameter at breast height 800 mm Leave all other fields unchanged but don't yet click OK Click 2D Properties. Check Use 2D Component Symbols. Note the different options for displaying trees with different tree actions. Click OK. Click 3D Properties. Check Create 3D Geometry. Under Optional Class Names, choose Exist Tree 3D Canopy and Exist Tree 3D Trunk. Click OK. Click OK again. Click once on the drawing and again to place the tree as indicated on the plan. Press X to return to the selection tool. The new tree is still selected. On the Object Info palette, scroll to the bottom and change the Action field to Retain. Notice the tree's graphic has changed. Change the Action field to Remove. The graphic changes again. Select some of the other trees and examine their properties on the Object Info palette. Choose Tools, Reports, Choose Schedule. On the dialog, select Existing Tree Schedule, check Place Worksheet on Drawing and click OK. The cursor changes to a small target Click on the drawing area below the road. A report is displayed on the drawing that lists all the trees on the site. You can use this report on the drawing or export it to use in other project documentation. Choose File, Close. There's no need to save the file.